Hey guys, what's up? For today's tutorial, we're going to learn on how to animate a tree from Max-Tree by using GrowFX. So let's get started. So we're gonna turn off the leaf and branches first. And then these branches too. Reason why we're turning this off so our viewport will be much smoother. Alright, so we'll be animating the trunk too. Alright, so we go to Mesh Builder, we check first if it has a meta mesh. So this one meta mesh depends on the tree. Sometimes it's heavy or sometimes not. So if you got this kind of meta mesh for your whole GrowFX model, you, what you can do is you can right click and convert it to Cylinder Mesh Builder. Alright, so it won't be connected in, into the trunk one. So let's say if you convert it to a cylinder mesh. See? But if we turn back to meta mesh, it will merge. It's now stitch seamless. But yeah, but sometimes, sometimes it's too heavy if it's all meta mesh. So just keep that one in mind, right? So for now, we'll convert it to cylinder mesh. You know, we can turn it back later, right? So we're gonna add animation for this one now. Mm. Right. Okay, so we go to after mesh modifiers. And then add a wind animation, create. All right, so we're gonna set the fan size to 50. Icon size, that's icon size. And then change this to trunk 2. Okay. And then we're gonna change this one to 30. We'll just lower the speed, the wind speed. And then if we go back to after mesh, we're just gonna close this one for now. After mesh modifiers, you can control the stiffness. So for now, we'll turn the stiffness to 1000. Okay. And then And then we're gonna turn the flexibility to. Let me just check. To three. All right. So let's try to play the animation. Let's just turn off the. That one. All right. Alright, so the trick here for animating in GoreFX is you play with the stiffness and also the flexibility. This flexibility. So let's say if we're going to t turn this one up to 5000, it's more like it's not swaying that much. But if we turn this one to 1, see. Well, let's say just 10 it's gonna look like a octopus so stiffness will make it more the swaying more um, steady not too not too much affected by the wind so let's say 1000 and then the flexibility if we turn this one up to 50 like that one so it's more very flexible. It's more like a stem now, not, not like a trunk. So we'll stick to tree. Which we are looking for for a tree animation. Alright. 
and now we're going to duplicate this one well, let's see for the for the wind for the trunk we're gonna change it to now oh, we're gonna turn on the per tube speed and then let's set it to 20 all right and then this one to 150 size Right, so it has a little bit of swaying which we are looking for for the trunk because it's not really that affected by the wind okay so we're gonna add now the branch one okay so there's no animation yet on that one it's still linked to trunk two so we're gonna duplicate the wind object and then let me to branch one. And I'll just change the color. So for branch one, we're gonna change the parameters to 20 speed. So the higher the wind speed, the stronger it gets. And then we'll leave the perturb speed as it is. Okay. And then now for the branch one, we'll open up after mesh modifier and then add wind animation and then we're gonna pick that one that branch one wind object all right so right now it's applying that from the branch one wind object okay so we're gonna change the stiffness to 1000 for the branch one and then this one will be 10 so again if we bump this one to 500 and if we play it it's gonna be really affected by the wind very flexible so we're just gonna stick to 10 okay and let's play again so now there's a slight movement on the branch one Okay, and then now let's move on to branch two. Branch two. For branch two, three and four, since they are more likely the same. All right, so we're gonna add a wind and name it to branch two, three and four. So it's up to you if you want to use another um, wind object but for this one I'm just using um, a one wind object for branch 1, 2 and 3 and 4 right so let's go to branch 2 first and then after mesh modifier and then wind animation then pick branch 2, tr 3 and 4 wind object okay and then we'll set it to 100 and then 2 right so branch T doesn't have any wind um, modifier yet so we're gonna copy that one from branch 2 alright okay so copy modifier and then go to branch tree paste modifier or you can paste it as instance but for now we'll just paste as modifier so it applies the that modifier now to branch tree and then so go to branch four and then paste that again should apply also to this branch four here right so if we're going to play it now there's going to be some slight movement also here it looks pretty good not too windy it's good for flat through animations you can make it like very gusty breezy 
by speeding up the wind speed but I think most fly throughs they just go for this kind of animation and now we're gonna apply the leaf uh, wind animation well for this one we're just uh, we're gonna make another wind object and name it to lift leaf Let's change the color here all right so for the leaf we're gonna change the wind speed to 1000 and then 200 for the size for the parts of speed size all right and then go to leaf 01 since we haven't added the wind object yet so we go to create modifier wind animation and then pick leaf all right and then for the leaf we're gonna we're gonna update the stiffness to 5000 and then to 30 right let's see oh, let's check the material on this one okay So since we want to see the alpha, we're just going to stick to this material here. Oh, the shaded material in the viewport, just to show that alpha. Since we're going to make a preview animation of this one. Alright, so we're going to make a preview out of this. Let's see. We'll set the keyframes. So it's all set to 25, 0 to 300, <coughs> and then let's shift V, alright, and then I think it's all good, this one will just make it to 100, or 150. Alright, so the resolution won't be that high for the video. Let's create it. Oh, high quality standard. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna pause this one and then we'll, we'll get back after the preview is over. Okay, so the preview is done, so let's play it. So as we can see, there's some movements on the branches on each individual branch and some swaying on the leaves, which we are looking for for a very mild breeze animation. This one's pretty good. You can apply this one to any tree, I think, the settings, and you'll get this kind of um, animation. Alright, so we're going to render now, uh, make a preview now for the whole set, uh, for the whole tree. Let's see how it looks. Right, I'm gonna pause it again. Alright, so the previous done, let's see. So there's some swaying there. I think it's pretty good. So if you duplicate this one as a corona animated proxy and then just rotate a bit of this tree, then you can have multiple trees on your fly through that you can use. We rotate it just a little bit so that 
you can duplicate it as many times as you like. Right, I think that's it for this tutorial and I hope you learned something and I'll make another tutorial solely for creating a Corona animated proxy a separate one okay uh, thanks guys for watching and I hope you will subscribe for more new videos thank you